they are ready for this one. Certainly, Enes Yala with a lot of crowd support here in the Hendex Sports Hall here tonight. And as I mentioned, not only looking for the win, but looking to impress. Let's see what he's got. Crowd is right behind him all the way. Oh, wow, he ran right into a left hand there. Ran Stop. right into a left yep, from Kosa Hautov. You can see that he is certainly a much, much bigger fighter is Kosa Hautov. Certainly not holding anything back here either. Man, there is a lot of size difference between these two. Big leg goes right across the forearms that time. Right. Fight! Well, the difference between these two is like night and day. Some guys are just extremely skilled at cutting weight. It's not really a problem for them. They, have, they, they can make a whole other weight class without really sweating it, no pun intended, too much. But look at the way that Yala is moving in there. He's creeping around the ring, trying to stay away from that power of Kusalatov. Stop! Stop! Well, that was a uh, double leg takedown there that time. Certainly not going to get any points for that. That is an illegal maneuver here under KOK rules, but it has been done and the damage has been done. Take another look here from our ringside commentary position. Best seat in the house. You've also got the best seat too if you're watching at home, looking right into the ring with these two. And a little bit out of range there is NS Yala. Whoa, he went for it all that time. Took a gamble, and it didn't pay off. Fight! I think that it, when this fight stop, started, stop, stop, stop. NS Yala was extremely Fight. confident, and he landed a couple of good combinations right in the opening seconds. But then after that, I think he tasted the power of Kusahatov, and that certainly woke him up a little bit. Look how wide his eyes are, wide open when he's looking at his opponent. Very focused on the task ahead of him. Oh, wow. He got clocked that time with that spinning kick. He did catch it in the head, I believe. But also, Kulsahatov is, is expending a lot of ener energy throwing maneuvers like that. He's, that time he was way off the mark with it. Interesting, very interesting round number one here. There's a very strange dynamic at work here between these two athletes. Enes Yala, maybe not the most technically sound, but has got a lot of heart and does have some power behind his uh, hands. If he could get a little bit crisper technique, I think he would be very dangerous, but he is relying on some brawling kind of tactics with those takedowns which he may end up being penalized for if he tries it again. Fighter. On the other hand, Ruslan Kulas Hatov, some very unusual maneuvers himself. A lot of jumping, wild jumping spin kicks from him. He's a much bigger fighter. Seems to be more powerful, but he also looks like he is very tired here. Coming into round number two, as I said, you, you can't just keep doing those jumping, spinning kicks and not expect to lose some of your energy as well. Because every time you crash down on the mat like that, it hurts. You hit the ring from that kind of a height and crash down to the bottom of the ring, that hurts. You have to pick yourself up. What is this now? Stop. Maybe got a low blow. I didn't catch it, but he just walked away from his opponent. 
Referee looking over at the judges here to see if he actually got one or not. I think they do agree that there was one. And we we'll begin again. There you can see Yala going right after him. He's certainly not backing down whatsoever here. He's ready to fight and coming for all he's worth. Those shots are landing as well. Good leg kick goes in, and another one as he continues to attack the lead left leg now of the big man. Busahatov says, all right, bring it. You want to fight? Let's do it. Business really starting to pick up here now in round two. And you can see now that the Turkmenistani fighter slowing down, really slowing down, which is allowing Yala to really open up now on him. Keeps shaking his head up and down and saying yes to his opponent. Like, okay, you want to bring it? Go ahead and bring me the fight. But he may be saying that to kind of disguise the fact that he's Stop. really starting to lose a lot of steam. Zuplama. Referee Zuplama. worrying about Zuplama. holding the leg. And yeah, it looks like the left Fight. shin Fight. of uh, Kulas Hatov has some damage to it. It doesn't look like it's bleeding, but it's a very deep bruise. I'm not sure if that's a cut or a deep bruise, but it's right on the front of the left shin of the man from Turkmenistan. And look at this now. Yala opening up with big body kicks. Well, Yala certainly having a lot more success Stop. this round than he was having in round number one. Fight! Stop! Ooh, and down goes Yala that time, hitting the canvas extremely hard. Went head over heels. Fight! Yala still moving forward here. 10 second hammer goes down. Right hand made its way through. Again, you can see the lack of technique from Yala, but certainly Stop. no lack of heart. And I think that's what won him round number two. Let's take another look, folks. As Ruslan Kusa Haltov came out in round number two. You could tell that he was exhausted. And he certainly slowed down a lot in round number two. That allowed a lot of openings for Enes Yala. He didn't have to rely on that brawling like he did in round number one. He simply just had to go in there and do what he wanted to do and execute his game plan. And that's exactly what he did. But. We're deep now. We're deep into this fight. Round number three coming up here. Fighters! And I think that anything is possible. gloves and we're off. Third and final round here between these two lightweights. Certainly doesn't seem like Ruslan Kusahatov is a lightweight. Stop, stop, More like stop. a welterweight to me. Nevertheless, Time stops. Well, the mouth guard came out of the Turkmenistani fighter. Or no, it was not. They just washed it out in the blue corner. I think a ref brought the Fight. mouth guard to the wrong corner, but nevertheless. Oh, popped him with a left that time. Very unexpected, I think, from Yala. Oh, he clubbed him. 
He really stop, clubbed stop. it. Yala let him have it with the right hand and it wobbled. Cool Sahata. Stop! Hits the canvas again very hard. That ring is so unforgiving. Fight! That is just wood and metal. A very thin layer of padding over the top, but you can feel the reverberations bouncing off of your bones when you hit that ring very hard. Popped him with the left. This is what Kulsahatov needs to do. He needs to be able to keep that distance, stop, stop, stop. stay away from Yalov, and use that reach advantage because Yalov is just coming right in, almost uncontested. And for a guy with such a long reach advantage, you cannot allow that to happen. He's also very slow to react when, when Yala comes into range. He's not reacting quick enough. Hard to do when you're this fatigued. Whoa, and he went for it again. That time it kind of bounced off the shoulder blade of his opponent. Fight! Backing him up now. Good leg kick goes in. The knee was blocked. But did the damage elsewhere. You can see that there's some swelling over the left eye of Yala. As he continues to dig in on his opponent. That one connected right in the rib cage, I believe. Maybe in the liver area. Goes downstairs again looking for that liver with the left hand. And now Yala starting to slow down. And he's paying for it. Oh, wow. Those are clean shots going into the head. Fight. The tables continue to turn in this fight. Yala, though, I think is still getting the better of him in this round overall. Whoa. Bounced off the glove, but also made some contact. Closing seconds now. Stop! That's it. Enes Yala soaking in the adoration of this crowd here in Sakarya, Turkey, as we go back and take a final look at what happened in round number three. Fatigue. Fatigue was a huge factor in this fight. It, it looked to me in round number one like Kosohatov really had the upper hand. But in round number two, he was very sluggish and Yala was able to capitalize. That was until about the last minute, minute and a half of round three, when Kulsa Halov got a, a second win, and we saw Yala start to fade. Ah, <laughs>